Welcome to the Shika Serbu Motor Channel. This channel provides easy to understand explanations of car mechanisms. The content of this video is how a limited slip differential works. This video will explain the disadvantages of a conventional differential as well as the mechanical limited slip differential, viscous coupling limited slip differential, and torque sensing limited slip differential. A conventional differential does not transmit engine torque to the tire when the opposite side tire loses traction. If you are not familiar with differential gears, watch how a differential gear works before watching this video. A link is provided in the description. Please take a look. To prevent tire slippage, a limited slip differential is used. A mechanical limited slip differential consists of a drive pinion, ring gear, and differential case, left and right side gears, pinions, pressure rings, and multiplate friction clutches. First, let's take a look at the relationship between differential cases, pressure rings, and pinions. The inner surface of the differential case is grooved, and teeth on the outer circumference of a pressure ring engage with those grooves. A pressure ring can slide in the axial direction of the differential case. It and also rotates along with the differential case. The pinions are located between the left and right pressure rings. And the pressure rings grip the pinions with spring force. The engine torque transmits to the pinions through the differential case and the pressure rings. Next, let's take a look at the relationship between the differential case and the side gears. The clutch plate with teeth on its inner circumference is engaged in the grooves of the side gear. The blue plate can slide in the axial direction of the side gear. And it rotates together with the side gear. A clutch plate with teeth on its outer circumference is engaged in the grooves of the inside of the differential case. The red plate can slide in the axial direction of the differential case and it rotates together with the differential case. When a car is turning on a curve with a constant throttle opening, the system allows for a speed difference between the left and right tires, similar to a conventional differential. When the driver widely opens the throttle, the engine torque increases and the pressure rings will accelerate. However, the rolling resistance applies to the pinions through the side gears, which generates a force in the opposite direction to the acceleration. As a result, the pressure rings overcomes the spring force and advances ahead of the pinions. At the same time, the shape of the grooves on the pressure rings slides the pressure rings. The pressure rings press the clutch plates and engage the multi-plate clutches. As a result of this operation, a part of the engine torque is transmitted from the differential case to the side gears through the multi-plate clutch, in order to prevent tire slip. There are some types of mechanical limited slip differentials, and they operate differently based on the shape of the pressure ring grooves. The two-way type restricts tire slip during both acceleration and deceleration. The one-way type restricts tire slip only during acceleration and does not restrict slip during deceleration.
The 1.5 way type restricts tire slip during both acceleration and deceleration, but the restriction during deceleration is weaker. The viscous coupling limited slip differential consists of the same components as a conventional differential, including a drive pinion, ring gear, differential case, pinions, and side gears. However, it also features a viscous coupling between the left and right side gears. The grooved inner shaft of the viscous coupling is connected to the right side gear by passing through the left side gear. The viscous coupling plates with teeth on their inner circumference are engaged in the grooves of the inner shaft, therefore the plates rotate together with the right side gear. The grooved viscous coupling housing is connected to the left side gear, and the viscous coupling plates with teeth on their outer circumference are engaged in the grooves. Therefore, the plates rotate together with the left side gear. Inside the viscous coupling, these blue and red plates are arranged alternately. High viscosity silicone oil is sealed inside the viscous coupling. When there is little difference in rotation between the left and right tires during a gentle turn, the silicone oil allow the rotation difference to enable the car to smoothly turn. When the difference in rotation between the left and right tires is bigger, the shear resistance of the silicone oil on the slipping side viscous coupling plate increases, and this shear resistance makes the slipping side gear slower. As a result, part of the engine torque is delivered to the opposite side gear. There are some types of torque sensing limited slip differentials. This video explains a worm drive type. This system consists of a drive pinion, a ring gear, three sets of worm wheels and spur gears, and worm gear type side gears. The key point of this system is the relationship between the worm gear and worm wheel. You can rotate the worm wheel by rotating the worm gear. However, you cannot rotate the worm gear by turning the worm wheel. When a car moves straight, the ring gear, differential case, worm wheels, and worm gears rotate together as one unit. Even if there is a difference in traction between the left and right tires, the worm wheel cannot rotate worm gear as explained before. Therefore, the worm wheel and worm gear work as a rigid unit, while transmitting equal driving force to the left and right tires preventing tire slippage. When a car turns left at a constant speed, the right side gear rotates faster than the ring gear, while the left side gear rotates slower than the ring gear. To make it easier to understand, if we assume that the rotation speed of the ring gear is zero when considering this state, it means that the side gears on the left and right are reversing their rotation. In this case, the worm gear on the right side gear rotates right worm wheel clockwise, while the worm gear on the left side gear rotates the left worm wheel counterclockwise. The left and right worm wheels are engaged by spur gears, but since they rotate in opposite directions, the worm wheels can rotate. By this operation, the rotational difference is absorbed, and the car can make turns smoothly. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to our channel. We'll see you in the next video.